This park has been known to cause people to actually believe mind reading is real. That's what it says. It says that right there. That's actually hilarious. All right, happy new year, Locker Nuts. We are kicking off this new year with ah, the same old stuff. All right, so we got these bins right here. I've got nine bins ready to go. These are out of the $7,500 locker that we purchased. That's a private party purchase. Found so many toys. I mean, we're just referring to it as the toy locker. Great stuff. We're selling a, t we're selling a ton of this stuff here even after Christmas. Even in January, we're still selling stuff. I got an order this morning or last night for a James Bond doll we sold it on ebay for 250 bucks stuff selling and well we got a lot more to go through take a look yeah this kind of stuff these are our bins that we filled with loose items from the locker and i'll be honest with you guys i peeked in this last night right on top there's a ps5 game i pulled that out because i got a ps5 for christmas why buy games when i already basically bought them we own them so let's go let's pull this out and go through it and see what we got all right let's go through it and also by the way this is my packing station this is where we've been unboxing some of the stuff we bring home it's just a lot more convenient to do it here because i've got empty boxes i got some space to display stuff if i need to and when we pull out stuff to go into our live auction i'm gonna walk it right in our room and stick it right on the auction tables we're gonna auction it off probably before you guys even see this video we've been letting this stuff go pretty cheap so what's this new and lingwood it's like a tie oh wow look at this a little skull and crossbones very cool yeah new and lingwood it's from london made in england right here that's a nice looking tie i think we'll put that in our auction that might be worth a little bit this guy spent a lot of money he liked fun stuff so obviously like he didn't just buy a tie he bought one with skull and crossbones on it here's the jurassic world therizinosaurus claws it's kind of fun put them on your hands i guess hold on right there Fun stuff. Here's some care for the car here. Some Lysol wipes, leather cleaner, cleaning wipes, and Lysol wipes. Okay, just practical household stuff. Uh, here's a portable battery pack. Dual USB ports, large capacity, 1,000 milliamps. I think that's a pretty good size one. Lawrence Block, Grifter's Game. All right. What Jesus meant. Stuck in the burbs. Yeah, he had a fair amount of books. Uh, here's the James Bond stuff here. That's kind of cool. He had a lot of James Bond stuff too. But a lot of books. Books are not our favorite thing to find. Books are a little bit harder to sell. Uh, old Navy flip-flops. Just nothing too exciting there. That'll go to the flea market. Ooh, Indiana Jones doll. Try me. Real movie dialogue. Push button. Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Hey, that's kind of neat. <laughs> I like that the mouth moves. That's pretty cool. It's another good piece we can auction off. Ooh, Aladdin. 18 bucks on clearance right here. Genie tank. Ooh, McFarlane toys. I didn't realize McFarlane did Disney stuff. That is that is neat. Okay, that's cool. What do we got here? Oh, Lord of the Rings. Look at this, guys. Sealed brand new. Nice, nice example of a Lord of the Rings book. Ooh, if we'd found that before Christmas, probably would have given that to one of our kids. Tarot cards. Let's see if they're in here. Yes, they are. All right, tarot cards with book. Stuff sells. <laughs> That's a... Whoa. What does this thing do? This is not just a plastic toy right here. It does something. Oh. Oh my goodness, that's cool. His eyes move. And his tongue. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm easily impressed. And then, uh, last but not least. Uh, no, no, there's a couple more things in there. But there's a couple of uh, booster seats for kids. Brand new. And, huh. RFID blocking. Daytet. I think this might be some kind of travel thing. And this blocking right here, that might be so people don't scan your, your pocketbook or something. I don't know. It's a nice little fanny pack, though. Well, I just noticed one thing. This Lord of the Rings. Uh, look at this. $75 price tag on that. That's that's surprisingly high. Okay, next box. Or bin. Sydney Sheldon. <laughs> oh, that's a wine voucher. <laughs> that's a gift card. All right, that'll go to the flea market. There's a USB charging 
station. That's actually kind of cool, yeah, huh? It is nice. Get a whole bunch of devices plugged in. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ooh, this is fabulous. Mandalorian plush throw blanket. Brand new. 27 bucks at Kohl's. That's good for our auctions. Fabulous. Therma Breath Oral Rinse. It's like mouthwash. Brand new. We'll look it up and see if it's got some value. This is all stuff that was loose in the locker that we gathered like off the shelves or off the floor. Yeah. And put in some chonies. Some dude's underwear. <laughs> I'm glad you're the one touching those. I've touched the worst. I know you have. Some magazines, mail. You need any of his mail? No. You don't need to get it back, right? Nope. They already went through it. Took what they wanted. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Bloody hands. Put it on the window. That's kind of funny. That's something. You want to frighten your small children. It's like uh, plain stuff. Yeah, United Airlines a little Except care a little package. Lot. Bob Ross bobblehead. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's, that's 13 bucks. Dang, that's cool. That's funny. Yeah, maybe we'll do that little giveaway with that. The Bob, no, let's sell it. The Bob Ross was so popular. Harry Potter wallet oh, right here. Oh, that's nice. Brand new. Slytherin. It's not new. He used it, the wallet, when he traveled, I think. Really? That's yeah. the paper. Oh, geez. No, this is stuff from his travels. A library card and something from London. The Harry Potter fans will like it. Sweet. Let's find something better than that. Okay. Magic cube. Ooh. Changeable. Whoa. 119 something. Something for Japan here. That's kind of cool. What's this? Something else from Japan here, but mm -hmm. DC it says. Batman. Batman. This goes with it. Maybe? Or maybe another one. That's open. another one's open, huh? Yeah. Okay. The mystery can take. Oh, that's cute. That's what the, that's in the other one, maybe. Toy Story. They're so cute. All right, and then what the film? How funny! Party, party game, sale. party game, twenty dollars. Make movies and backstab friends. Wow! Just like real Hollywood. <laughs> People were just asking for movie games. So. Escape from the aliens in outer space. Awesome. Yeah. Originally forty bucks. Okay. Idiom addict. Sealed. Great. Thirty bucks. He bought some of this stuff on sale. What's that down there? Oh. Retro bit. Go retro. Um, Nintendo. Yeah, I'll have to replace the batteries in this. They're not pop, they're just old. I think, isn't this like the one we found already? It is. Just different color. Yeah, it's just like a retro or a replica Game Boy, and it comes preloaded with a whole bunch of games. There's some chocolates. Mmm. Milk, chocolate, Hanukkah, gelt. You hungry? I'm always dealing with some chocolate. I see something I like. There's a little apple. I'm going to take Charger. that. And a couple more of these. Oh, here's the one that's open right here. Oh, okay. Joker. A little Joker figurine. Cool. That's cool. And another sealed one. Awesome. What else you got? All right. Let's see. Pencils. Oh, Pencils. Those are the best brand. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Another game. Pick your poison. I never read that one. What would you rather do party game? Cards. Looks brand new. It kind of does, but... It's open. Nice. Yep. And here's another one. Yep. NSFW edition. Hmm. That could be. See, nice. a little different. Lock Cell up. block series of trick lock, maybe. Mm-hmm. Project yeah. Genius. Cool. Trick lock. It says. Awesome. Stupid deaths. <laughs> the frightfully oh. funny game. This unpunched. Yeah, new. It's like he opened it because he just wanted to look inside, but he didn't use any of it. Or maybe some of them aren't sealed. Some games don't come sealed. Royally screwed. Funny. Drink like royalty, party all night. Competitive party game is sure to get you screwed. Okay. <laughs> puppet Master. I think we found a, a Puppet Master toy like very early in this dig. This is that NECA. It's like expensive. from the first. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, but NECA is super expensive. Those are really neat. Yeah. He did open them. Probably take them out and look at them. This this could be a few bucks right here. That's cool. Yeah. Todd McFarlane. So the bubble pack's missing. I think there's probably a character on top of that. This is Poacher. Pencil sharpener. Sweet. Next bag here. Magic and mentalist tricks here. 
Huh, so that can go one of our magic boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's kind of neat. 30 tricks and tips with a magic hot rod. What's this? So many catch up. I'm super stretchy. That's cute, look. That's neat. Huh. That's really cute. Yeah, that's that'll be a fun auction item. Echo oh, God. Echo Dot. Wow. We already sold one of those, didn't we? We had the big one. Oh, this is sealed too. Brand yeah, new yeah. seal. So we like that. Yeah, that's good. What does that make you smile? Yeah, it does. There's some more magic. Mm -hmm. Card stunt. <laughs> Every time Jack finds a pussy, it's more. Yeah, it's heavy and Shrink and Grow Rich action pack. Yeah. Next bin. Let's see. Got... Dun -da -dun. Mickey Mouse. Huh. Make your own snow globe. Okay. So it's like a little pack. Oh, one of Jack's favorites. A book. Hmm. <sighs> Proper study of mankind, huh? Oh, this is cool. Star Wars yeah, water bottle. Yeah, that's more like it. It's cracked, though. Cracked or scratched? Scratched, maybe. Uh, I don't, uh, I think that is a crack. Yeah, it's gonna go in the garbage. Yep. Dang it. Electronics. Ooh. What's that? Kindle? It's an iPad. It's an iPad. Hmm, I'll be kind of interested to charge that one up. Yeah, we will. 15 surprises. Ooh, LOL. Confetti under wraps. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brand new. Car charger. Car charger. Oh, for Switch. Oh, that's cool. We got a lot of Switch stuff, so... Right, I got something soft and fuzzy in here. Hmm. <laughs> Makes me nervous. Um, is this a blanket or is it a... It's a used blanket. Okay. Okay, more books. Wow, I'm hitting the jackpot here. Not even good ones. No. We got a Lilo and Stitch globe. Okay. Disney. We got Advil. Those are expensive. Hundred and sixty. That is expensive. Seal, seal. <laughs> this is probably twenty bucks. Probably twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Twenty dollar bill right there. There you go. Let's we'll sell those snow globes together. Oh yeah, they're really cute. What a great craft for little kids. Okay. Oh, brand new Edge sensitive skin. Here's hmm. Another $15, $20 value. Yeah, probably. Uh, the Witch's Year. Modern magic cards. Another book. Not familiar with that. Crest Hydrogen Peroxide Whitening Boost. Brilliant. Is it new? Looks it. Looks newish. Uh, make a phone defy gravity. I Level Pro? Hmm. What is that? Could be magic or it could just be a stand for your phone. Hmm. I think there's a magic trick. Interesting. You guys into magic so much. We'll have to look that up. Yeah, we will. Uh, a Rubik's Cube. We've already had those. Put that in our toy lots. And a beautiful... Oh, these are nice. Oh, 007. Still sealed. These are gorgeous. James cards. Bond. These are really nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we'll look these up. Mm -hmm. You never know. We're not. We're just Could be a big tape. We're always looking for tape. Yeah, we'll keep that. Transparent tape. Oh, another script. Maybe you can pull that out here and we can get better light on the stuff. Oh, oh, another script. Seven. Oh, wow. Wow. David Fincher. We sold a few scripts already. We found, uh, what was it? Alien, right? Alien? Uh -huh. No, wait, was it Alien? Yeah, and some other things, too. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, we, we already sold a few scripts. Okay, two books. You are bad. Oh, that's, they wrote that about me, I think. <laughs> so funny. A Heath bar with toffee. Hey. Extra large Heath bar. Sometimes I get scared looking in these bags. Half eaten chocolate bar with a receipt. Ooh, I'm not going to eat that. That I might uh, eat. Paper mate. Erasers. Yeah. Pink pearl. Toy okay, Story. I see something better than this. this. Honey, this is what I got. This I sucks. I don't pack the boxes customly. Well. Aw, these are adorable. Yeah, we already found one. Yeah. Those came in the, the Toy Story thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we got two more. Okay, we'll just put those in a big lot. Mm-hmm. A lot, big lots. And weights. These are nice. Wait. Two and a half pound weights. That's a, those are cool. Uh, these are cool. Let me see if I can jazzercise with these. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let's see. Woo! Are you feeling the burn? Feeling the burn, baby. Getting the pump. Feeling the burn. Getting the pump. This is actually good. I think I might keep these. Well. Seriously, this is a great. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Found something. Sold. The Jana likes. All right, guys. One more bin before I call it an evening. 
It says jackets, coats here. Don't pay any attention to that. Keep in mind, these are my bins that we brought to transfer all the, you know, loose stuff. There's a Thai plushie right there. Forever Maryland DVD set right there. Latin for dummies. Ah, uh, here's another loot crate, or tinker crate. I say another because I think this is probably the third one we found. This is make your own bubble lamp. Bubble lamp. Build an LED lamp. That's cool. Kaleidoscope lamp. Creates dancing patterns. There's 12, whatever that is. The L. Is that French? Franks? I don't know. Oh, look at this. Hotel Majestic. Saigon, Vietnam. Laundry bag. Found some other stuff from Hotel Majestic. It looks like it's probably a pretty nice hotel. Okay, here we go. Doomsday Countdown. Space Marine Adventures. Another game. Barnes and Noble exclusive. Forty-five dollar game. That's a, that's cool. Looks like he bought it when it's marked down the twenty bucks. He bought a lot of these games marked down, then he never even opened them. Detective. Modern Crime Board Game Season One. Pretty cool. Thirty dollar game. Oh, what's this? What is this? Goo Jitsu Goo Shifters. Oh my goodness, I found one of these already. A loose one. I didn't know what it was. Stretches up to three times its size. Chomp Attack. Transform the Goo. I'm super gooey. <laughs> that is that is different. A little travel bag here. Looks like it's brand new. Hotel Majestic, little slippers. Okay, what's this? Poly bag. Oh, I know what this is. Switch game. Sushi Striker, the way of Sushido. Sealed brand new. We've been selling these games uh, pretty good on eBay. They're all brand new. I mean, not all. I think there's one that was open. All the other ones are brand new sealed. It's like, it makes it so easy to sell. Scarf or something. The Hateful Eight, brand new sealed. DVD, Farmer Stein, crazy vegan game, what? <laughs> A vegan game, A little pump or something. Mel Brooks collection, oh that's cool. 12 chairs, blazing saddles, young Frankenstein, silent movie, high anxiety, history of the world, great stuff, space balls, woof, great, great, great movies. Crazy string, <laughs> this looks like a fun bag. We got here. Okay. Book. Okay. Super Mental Magic Series. Looks like there's cards in here and they're gone, so I don't think we'll keep that. Harry Potter, the Philosopher's Stone. War with the Evil Power Master. Choose your own adventure game right there. It's cool. Moncala, Heirloom Edition. More magic stuff. Batman. Be more Batman. Face your fears and look good doing it. Be more Batman. To change the world, change yourself. Talk the talk. To be like Batman, you have to talk like Batman. Speaking short, punchy phrases like, it's over, give it up, and you're finished. This surprised everyone with a complex explanation of something that nobody else will understand. I knew he was the clown napper because he was, because of the infinitesimal particles of custard pie along the proximal, all oh, right, stupid, all right. Hide and eek, trick or treat bag. Hmm. Okay. Inner Witch, a modern guide to the ancient craft. Oh, a little charger insignia. Some kind of tape right there. Oh boy, more books. Fun with Chinese characters. Star Trek book. Oh, Tomorrow Never Dies. Oh wait. Final shooting script. It's 007 script from the movie. That's different. Magic in theory. Now you're talking Mandarin Chinese in no time. Mm, a few more books here. Mm. A little more silly streaming. Mm, bicycle playing cards right there. That's good. It's empty. And notebooks. Mm, blank notebooks. Last thing is a lap desk. These are actually pretty cool right here. I must say. You got the foam back right here. Put on your knees, on your lap. A little flip up right there. These are cool. All right. Next box, next day and next box. Let's see what we got. Ooh, yes. 
I like this. Alien prototype suit. How cool is that? Yeah, NECA. That was what Jam was seeing with those toys yesterday. The Puppet Master stuff, NECA. It's a good brand. It's got some decent value. A little more Disney stuff. The Little Mermaid. This was 34 bucks at Jeffrey's Toys. D stage or O stage? It's Ursula right there. Diorama stage storybook series. Oh, it's got a little split in the plastic right there, but still looks brand new. Toys, toys, toys. And then books, books, books. Ooh, what's this? Oh, look at this. Some kind of magic cards here. Trick cards or something. Rider back playing cards. Huh, okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. That might be something a little valuable. I don't know. Collared 2 by John Archer. The last whatnot auction that we did, we sold some of the magic in a large box. I'm not sure. Pet Society birth certificate. I don't know what that's about. It's magic. Magic explanation. Collared too. Okay. All right, more magic stuff. Seems like higher end magic stuff too. Yeah, we, we put uh, as much stuff as we could fit into a large flat rate box. Magic stuff. And sold it in large lots like that. I think we sold three lots. It did pretty good. I was surprised we had that many magic collectors. Or maybe they're just resellers. They were going pretty cheap uh, per piece, you know. But still, sold it. What is this? Original series phaser? Guys, this is heavy. Star Trek phaser. Accurate reproduction of the original 1960s TV series phaser. Display grade collectible. Right, we're going to have a look at this. Oh my goodness, this is nice. Okay. Whoa. Wow, this is like heavy. It's, I think still plastic. There's some metal in there. Wow, guys, this is this is something different. Look at this. Very interesting. Okay, guys, check this out. This is uh, this is a very good find. Better than I thought. <laughs> I thought 100 bucks would be happy, but look at this. There's three comps. Box looks a little different than what we got. And you can see we're watching the storage auction pirate on whatnot right here. Uh, that's a little different right there, but it is the same. I scanned the QR code. Or I'm sorry, the barcode. The one company right here, one company. And that's what this is, $350 pre-owned. And there's $400, different box, but same same item, 400 bucks. Ours looks brand new, but now it's this not the 500 bucks. bucks. Yeah, the box is a little smashed up and stuff, so I'd say we've got $350 item right here. And if you look at what's been listed, I'm going off the, the barcode, cool. yeah. so uh, maybe there's more if I don't use the barcode, but there's a $700 listed, there's a $750, and a $500 listed. So if we list ours at $350 or even $400, we'll be the lowest price one. Okay, that was a good find. Let's see if we can get some other stuff. That's the one that surprises Jen and I are just talking about how this, this is going to wind up being a pretty good buy for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sphero. Right there, see that Sphero? Mm -hmm. Ultimate... Lightning McQueen. I love Lightning. I think Sphero is like a higher end remote control car. It looks like it. Yeah, it, it syncs to your phone. This That's could be good. something good. Yeah, we spent 75. Wait a second, this oh, is sealed. Yeah, we don't open that. Yeah, we spent 7,500 bucks on this locker and we are now in the profit and we're still, still going through stuff. So I think we'll be doing pretty good. That's neat. Batman. Yeah, we sold one of those. Did we? Or we gave it away. Did we? Yeah. Huh. Oh, we got two more. Sweet. Yeah. Batteries, always a good buy. Always good. Okay, guys, look at this. 250 pre-owned, 300 pre-owned, 400 pre-owned. Here we go, brand new, 450 plus $84 shipping. That's insane. Yeah, that's a really no bad. way that should be $84 shipping. Five pounds. 500 bucks right here, brand new, free shipping. Ours is brand new, um, sealed. Here's a 295 brand new. 265 brand new. That's not brand new though. It's out of the box. They're selling it brand new. It's, it's not though. Maybe it's just ours is sealed. The There's 550 and that one's out of the box. Wow. 550. I say I we list it 499. 499 on this guys. This mm -hmm. is even better than the phaser. Still sealed, baby. We had some right. good Woo! This is a good box. There's Luna. Luna, say hi to everybody. Hi, Luna. This is a good little box. Okay. Vietnamese refinement. The steer. The steer. Oh. Smells like magic. He was overseas a lot. So that could be. Oh, yeah. some fans. Those are cool, brand new. 
Oh, those are pretty. Yeah, there's three. Three of them. Two fresh. Face mask. Garbage. Three comic books. <laughs> what bag Vertigo. Book? Alfred Hitchcock's. Yeah, it's a book. That's cool. Okay. Another book. Dark Side of the Cube. Monkey in the Middle? That's probably a trick. Like a magic trick. That's a Rubik's Cube thing. Mm. Mm, what's this? Let's see it. Vietnamese refi refinement. This is what the bag was for. Okay, this thing was really... This was like wrapped in layer after layer of bubble wrap <laughs> in clear tape. It's a nightmare to get off. But we're down to it. It's This is feeling pretty nice right here. Oh, whoa. This could be something very expensive. Whatever it is, they packed it up to travel. Remember, they spent a lot on some special items. Wow. Holy smokes, this is nice. What is that made out of? It's beautiful. I think it's ceramic. I don't know. Feel it's very cold. No, that is that's not ceramic. That's some sort of stone, I think. Could be. It's, it's uh, too cold. It's very cold. So what the heck? That's stone. That is definitely stone. Inlay. Look at that work. Wow. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's pretty pretty nice. I'll look the place up. Okay. Look at that, the, the scroll work. Look at all that's the work. That's stinking in that. beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's I beautiful. Think that's expensive. I think it is. So, what are we going to do with that? Well, I don't know yet. We'll have to do a little more research on that. Uh, Well, let's not get rid of this bag just yet then. Oh, we even have a card. I could call. Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Some snot rags. There's one more receipt. Is this it? No. Walnut Creeks for luggage. Okay. All right, that's pretty cool. That's something different. Very different. Very different. I'm kind of excited like about that. that. This is also Ooh. a little different D&D &D star set. I think we showed this in the video already when we were going through the locker. Dungeons and Dragons. Great. Yeah, I don't think this is like massive value because it's not vintage, but it's super cool. Yeah. There have been a big resurgence in Dungeons and Dragons players lately, so. And it's brand new sealed. Sealed. Okay. I've seen it. Movie seen it. It's Done. Opened. The cards are still sealed. Yeah. Great. Wow. He, you know, like I was told that stuff was just bought and put in there. Oh, wow. Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. Oh. Jack the Ripper and West End Adventures. That looks kind of used. Okay. Oh, that looks perfectly folded. It's like each person's a character. Yeah, almost like a murder, dis murder mystery dinner. Mm -hmm. Sherlock Holmes style, maybe. Okay, more games. We can sell that. And we're going to sell them in our whatnot auction. Awesome. Most likely, right? Yeah. That's, oh, for sure. We're going to sell a lot of this stuff. If you guys haven't been there, you saw me watching Storage Auction Pirate. He does a lot of them. We were watching his a little earlier, entering some giveaways and uh, trying to win some stuff. But uh, we do those too. We do them every week. Monday nights usually. Sometimes Thursday or Friday also. But Monday night's the place to be. And if you guys want to come join us and buy stuff like this, look at this Ooh. Disney Jungle Cruise adventure game. Still sealed, baby. Sealed brand new. Gosh, it's great. It's probably a $40 to $50 game right here. Ages eight and up. Love it. We'll be selling it for a dollar. Well, we'll start the bid at a dollar. Yeah, hopefully not a dollar. <laughs> hopefully not a dollar. Uh, and we do a 20 second auction. So sometimes stuff does go pretty cheap. In fact, that's a, a lot of times stuff goes pretty cheap. But we sell it anyways. A couple more books right here. There's a pirate sock you just found. Yeah, I think we found the other one before. Yeah, it's a different color. So, uh, all right, that's that box. But if you guys want to come join us on whatnot, use the link in the video. It'll be in the description. We'll link our next auction coming up, so you can always find the next event. You can also get a fifteen dollar shopping credit, spending credit for free if you use the link. That's only available the first time you sign up. So make sure. When you do sign up initially with whatnot, you use that link. 15 bucks for free. You can buy anything from us. You can buy anything from anyone. First 15 bucks is on whatnot. To thank you for going and checking it out. Preferably with us. And you, yeah, preferably with us. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> you'll probably be able to buy something like this. These sell for like what? Maybe like 20. 10 to 15 bucks? That one might sell for more. Maybe 20 Disney. bucks. Yeah. It'd probably be less than half price of what it is in the store in our auction. So uh, good deals to be had. So and it's fun. Come have fun. Come fun. It's fun, a good time. Fun. Fun with us. Okay, next box. 
Not as exciting as yours. Target bags. I don't know. I don't want to have Target bags. All right. Well, let's check it out. All right. First item is... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Neo Geo Mini. This stuff's done well. I think this is a decent value. Great. Little arcade machine, like tabletop arcade machine. Oh, something I know you're going to love. That's <laughs> okay. some value. <laughs> Saves us some money. Save me. Oh! Okay, this is cool, but this is something oh, you're gonna get excited movie. about. Oh. Empire Strikes Back script. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. That's this is some good stuff. Oh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Yo, oh, nice. And one more. Let's see what it is. The Godfather. Godfather. Ooh, Ooh, that's cool. Classic Francis Ford Cobia. What, what neat things to collect. I know. Pencils? Oh, pencils, okay. Pencils are exciting. Okay, look at this. This looks like electronics. Is that an HDMI switcher? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need that. For what? For switching HDMI. PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got Brand a PlayStation new sealed. 5. PS4 game. Mm -hmm. Death Stranding. And a power delivery power bank. Power bank. The girls keep taking my power banks and don't bring them back, so. No surprise there. Okay, I like this bag. Mm. Chanel. Cute. Batteries. Optimum. They're like special. Fake. Fake money. Fake and, teachers. Oh, this was, fake assets. This was on the shelf right by the door. Okay. Yeah. This is what I was, was dedicating this to some other YouTube channels. Mm-hmm. Jenna disliked that joke. Um, right here. Cover with pen. For a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold. Z Fold? Yeah. Isn't that one of those new ones? This Folding? is uh, Cards Against Humanity Family Edition. Glow in the Dark. Maybe we try that. Uh, tar uh, uh, tarot card book. Yep. This is a Pretty City London book. That's actually a pretty book. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, a watch. Mm. Oh, is I that think a swatch? I've seen that. Yes. Tesla. Mm, that's neat. This is a cool little um, eraser. Mm. And another one. Muse San Francisco Museum so of Modern Art. Yeah. Up, oh, Indiana Jones. Oh. Still sealed. Sands of Adventure, 8 Oh, nine. cool. That's a good one. Yes. I like it. I like it. A pair of fancy pants. Let's look at the brand. Fancy pants. Michael Bryan. Michael Bryan pants. They look like white tuxedo pants. Yeah. Size 40 regular. Yeah, okay. So that's it. Next box. Okay, next. This looks like an art supply box from my experience with our daughter. But we'll see. Oh, I was wrong. It's, oh my gosh, magic. Oh, wow. Big finger. <laughs> that's kind of neat. Probably expensive. Huh? Oh, oh it's still sealed. Yeah, this is cool. All right, maybe we need to look that up. I think so. English Guide, the British Museum. This travel stuff. Oh, this is what Shanna's been looking for. Oh, come on. Okay, guys. So, reportedly, there was some very high and expensive $1,500 cuff worth. Links. And I was a little upset because I haven't found them yet. No, oh, don't get too excited. We still might not have found them. Uh, okay. Oh, these were the pictures she sent me. Okay. Okay. Deacon and Francis. Okay, these are $1,500 value. For all of them? I don't know. I can go back through my notes. Probably. Wow. Okay, well, I'm very thankful we found them. I was starting okay, to get wait, a little worried. Wait, what does it say on here? That says Deacon and Francis. Oh, and then the other side says 925. Great. Yeah. D yeah. and F. It's, you could tell it's it's a uh, high quality. These ones don't say Sterling on them, but they do say England. This D, uh, what's it called? Deacon and Francis. So look at these ones right here. The mouth's articulating on them. See that? Mm -hmm. But those are the Sterling ones. We have this box right here. Which we didn't find anything in it, but. Because he took some of them. Yeah. He liked the skulls. He liked the skulls. Okay, so this is 1500 bucks right here. That's a decent find. That's what he paid for. That's what they think it's worth. It's obviously not, but it's hard to sell it on the secondary market, but it's still a little bit of value. Okay, you're happy, right? I am happy. I'm from England, so that's cool. It came in the box of all the England stuff. Yeah, we were worried we wouldn't be able to find that. This seems empty. Bose. Unfortunately. Bose. Yeah, it's empty. 
Boo. 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 Oh, more fans to go with our fan collection. Hi, you're opening my... I, I'm supposed to be unboxing. Give me that. Empty. Dang. Rolex. Vintage Rolex. What? <sighs> yeah. Oh, you remember they said that mm -hmm. there at one point was three Rolexes in this guy's The box locker. might be worth something. It's not. It's not a Rolex watch. I mean, the Rolex box. It's a vintage Rolex company box. Oh, yeah. Wow, you just... Yeah, I'm just snatching. You want me... Well, you want to do it? I can just hold right, the camera. It. Galaxy Fold 3 5G MT. Mm. I already tell. Yeah. So... Looks like it was a little tablet or something. Someone's getting into Cat's trouble. Cat's going crazy. She's getting into trouble. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. Rocky Horror Picture. Show. Oh. Yeah, another script. Yeah, I think those are cool. Let's do the time warp again. Silk Cumberbund. This one is Joseph A. Banks. Seventy dollars. Seventy bucks. So. Good luck selling that though. And then jumbo playing cards. Okay. Nice. And another cummerbund, seventy dollars. Hmm. Oh, can we Brand sell those new. online? I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh, we got two more of these kiwi, kiwi crafts. Yeah, those are. I'm cool. Not sure the address, but we've got like two of these, and now there's two more. This is cool, Superman. Mm -hmm. It's older, and now this is kind of interesting. The Legend of Ooh. Zelda Encyclopedia. It's still sealed, but the seal's ripped a little. This is a forty dollar book. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Someone might want to buy that. We could probably auction that. That's cool. Okay, next box. Okay, Jenna said this is a very heavy box. Very heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Very, very, very heavy. <laughs> Portable DVD player. We saw this in the locker. Fangor. I think we looked it up. Labyrinth, tarot deck, and guidebook. Jim Henson's Labyrinth tarot cards. This guy had all kinds of different tarot cards. A book. Yeah. That's exciting. Oh, yeah, I love funny books. Oh my gosh. Well, the bag did kind of go away. Um, oh, geez, it's a used book, too. Learn to speak Serbian. That's, yeah, can't wait. That's really not what we've spent $7,500 to find. Complete Norwegian. We we'll be multilingual by the time we're done with this locker. Another book. A lot of books. The Symbolic and Connectionist Paradigms. I know they'll love that in Stockton because they're super intellectual crowd out there you know honey that is they so love that mean. deep reading that is that is that's brandon take that out true genius grecian computer that's cool yeah that's a little like a different sundial. difficulty levels five stars guide to the classic tarot this is classic yeah. tarot people like this stuff they buy them oh, oh switch. i'm listing it it's new don't it's not even in there so oh, i was just worried settle settle Oh, this is the communicator. Yeah. Same as the phaser. We saw this. This is a little bit less. I think it's 250 bucks. Wow. We saw that when we looked at the other. That's fantastic. $250 just in the box. I should always found boxes like that. My World of Marvel. Oh, that's awesome. cool. Yeah. Those are beautiful. Little book of The Amazing Spider-Man. I wonder if it's a reprint of number one. Oh, those are gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Amazing Fantasy. Those are nice. They're like brand oh, new sets. Yeah, that's like, a, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we'll sell that for sure. That's nice. I'll show. The Occult, Witchcraft yeah. and Magic. It's really, really sad. This will probably be one of the first ones to sell. You know? People are into this weird and wacky stuff. Where do we sell it? I have no comment. Garbage. All right. Tenyo Magic Collection. This is good. Look at this. All the magic stuff. Oh, that's cool. Magic. Yeah. This is good, right? Sure. People really like that. People like the magic stuff. Lucky for us, because we have magic stuff. Okay, that looks like brand new merchandise. I'm kind of getting excited. Oh, yeah, toys. Good. Better. Woo! More better. Woo! More better. More better. Martian Manhunter. Sweet. Yeah, we've had this multiverse figurines. Yeah, that's McFarlane, right? That's the gold label, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Those are nice. Though. A little better. And? Batman. So nice. the McFarlane. Yeah, I mean, brand new, beautiful. Old Spice. Old Spice, Timber. It's used or else I wouldn't keep it. Oh, is this a possible shirt for your collection? Oh, this is good. New outfit alert. Oh, I love new it. New outfit. Oh, pause. I love it. That's that. so cute. That's a keeper right there. Yeah. 
It's probably double X. Yeah, double X. I love the color. A little big for me, but I'll keep it. Yeah, it's I'll cute. I'll wear it. You guys will see me wearing that. Pause. Here's for the PS5. Charging cable for That's your... That's a nice one. Remotes, yeah. Dell. Oh, it's a... Th wait. Oh, DVD drive. Nice. Yeah. Still sealed. No price on it, but yeah, still sealed. That's that's a decent little find. Pen, pencils. Great. Hmm? Mafia. That's popular, right? I don't, do you, you guys play it? I've just heard of it. L. Ron Hubbard. <sighs> so many books. So many terrible books. Mindful Universe. You know L. Ron Hubbard's written more content than any other author ever. That's right. But it's garbage. He just like Remember they used to sell that at garbage. the flea market when we yeah. were kids? They had this. Wait, did they give totally. it away? I think it was like two bucks for a book yeah. or something. Message of the Sphinx. Graham Hit Hancock. This is this is a good book right here. Graham Hancock's real deal. That's that's an interesting book. What's this? Ooh, come on, baby. <gasps> oh, oh and that is new and lingua. This is more the that's really good right here. So we don't have to look these up. If you guys are familiar with that, New and Lingwood from London. These supposedly are very expensive. They are. I don't even think it's supposed. That's that's good, right? That's good. Okay. Memento Vivir. Probably more tarot cards. Mm -hmm. Book of the Dead. Santa Moreto Marte. Tarot cards, yeah. Okay. More tarot cards. Oh, what's this? PS4. Okay. Sealed. Brand new. Not that worth that much. More tarot cards. <laughs> this guy's misplaced beliefs. World's greatest magic right there. 4K color vision, baby. This product has been known to cause people to actually believe mind reading is real. That's what it says. It says that right there. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. This looks expensive. Yeah, I think that's probably more magic. This stuff. Robert Smith with this is like the other stuff we found at Robert mm -hmm. Smith. Some of this stuff is really expensive. Yeah. Shocking. Yeah. 20, 30, 40, 50. 50 bucks. I think the other Robert Smith thing was 50 bucks. It's another magic. This is all magic in here. Yeah. Magic, magic. There's this Disney. Super magic. You're magical. It's not just magic. It's super magic. I keep telling you, you're magical. You're annoying me. <laughs> that one's empty. All right, guys. Last year, black and yellow tote in this locker. And then I think we're down to just big items. Big items, right? I saw a couple little boxes, maybe. We still don't know what this is. Stealth Go. Jenna thought it might be something for working out. Yeah. It could be like you step on here and you balance. Oh, that would be tough. Should I try it? I don't know. Do you want it? Sure. Let's see if Jenna's going to the emergency. <clears throat> okay. I don't, I don't really know if that's what it is. But... What do you think? I don't know. It's hard to do it though. It just seems okay. like there's something that goes on top of it. I don't... We're missing something here. We'll look it up. See what it is. Oh, that's right. Look at this. A Godzilla. Blow it. <laughs> we gotta sell that much. Uh, I think we have to try it first. Can you blow it up? <gasps> it works. Okay. We'll try that after. This is a little neck pillow. This is a nice neck pillow. Premium comfort light. Memory foam inside. All right, here's some Q-tips. Sweet. Should I test it? No. See if it works. Product test. Mm. Did you know you're not actually supposed to do that with your ears? Oh. oh. Definitely, definitely works. Honey. What the heck? How's it get that color? That's... Whoa, that's, I guess it's been a while. That's I'm not going to leave those right there. Wait. That's not... That's that, that should be edited out. <clears throat> Olukai? Yeah, those are expensive, see? But Leather. they're kind of warm. They're leather, though. They go to Stockton. Stockton, you're welcome. These are nice. Brand new. What brand are they? Keichua. Keichua. Never heard of it. They don't look that comfortable. I'm not going to lie. They don't look that uncomfortable. Those are cheaper. Oh, this last bin sucks. We should have done this one earlier. This is closed. Ugh. It's like a hospital bag. Oh, Aww. lots of underwears. Hotel slippers. Oh my gosh, chones. Chones and socks. Well, actually, I think I'll just put them in the stocking. Oh, maybe not. They're all thrash. Yeah, let's throw his so dirty underwear away. Yes, we might not get. We get, might get people that don't want to go through the box because they don't want to go through the underwear. You know. Star Trek. Cat. Oh, that's funny. 
I'm not really a big Trekkie, so I'll let it go. But that will go to Danza. Banana Republic, more pants. Yeah, they have some stains. Put them in something. Oh, oh. You're, you're handling a lot of undies right now. I know, but these are, are those men's or women's? They're men's briefs. Want to try a pair on? No. <laughs> I don't. <gasps> oh. Mickey. Oh, it's like a Van Gogh Mickey. That's so cute. That's kind of neat, huh? Mm-hmm. Does anybody want that? Mm, no. It's extra large? It's cute. Should I keep it? You can sell it. Now, the t-shirt, t-shirts are a little better. It's a Hanes, probably, isn't it? Old Star Wars print. Yeah. It's cool. I like it. Orion Founder. Hmm. It's kind of neat. Yeah, it's nice. I don't know if that's a work shirt or what. Mm-hmm. And just another white tee. Okay, that's it for these boxes here. And then uh, now we're going to go back to the locker probably tomorrow and go through the last of the big boxes. All right, should we go and show Grace? Yeah, I'll be heck of funny. Just watch your set. We're gonna scare the cat. Turn on the light. All right, guys, so Grace wasn't so happy that we barged in her room. She wasn't prepared for being on camera, so we're not gonna show you that, but um, yeah, fun little costume. I think we sold it at uh, De Anza Flea Market, the Godzilla costume. But anyways, um, I mentioned earlier in the video, if you saw it, that we we're gonna share how much we sold that Star Trek phaser for, but first I'm gonna demo it. Check it out, this was just such a cool piece and a really cool find. All right, check this out. Okay, so I got it assembled. I charged it. So check this out. Effects mode. That's effects mode. Practice mode. Practice mode. Tilt right. Huh? Tilt right, it said. I don't know what that means. Control mode. Red memory bank. Again, I don't know what any of that means. Honest. Effects mode is pretty cool. Check this out. It's got this little dial with all these numbers on it. It buzzes a little bit in the hand too, so it feels kind of trippy. Let's click it to a different one right here. Neat. <laughs> it's funny. It's got a lot of options on here. That's the loudest one so far. Pretty cool, right? I mean, it does more. I mean, it's got lots of lots of things on here. I think it's still got more different effects, but anyways, pretty cool piece. Definitely feels higher end. This is a heavy metal piece right here, but it goes, uh, you know, 350 upwards. There's some listed for several hundred as we showed. I think what we're going to do with this, put it in an uh, eBay auction, start at 350 and just see what happens. You know, just see what happens. So anyways, it works and it's interesting. And uh, now we're going to let it go. I uh, just re realized one more thing. This little display base right here. Pretty cool. It's still got the, look at the sticky tab to protect the base. Rubber bottom. And it's heavy. And check this out. It's got a magnet. Oh, it sticks right on to display it on your desk or whatever. That's a nice little, nice little uh, detail right there. Very cool. So I didn't fully understand or appreciate the uh, item. It was more than just a cool souvenir piece. It actually was a universal remote. I think the box said it and I'm just like, what does that mean? So you could actually program that to work your TV or probably other devices as well, which is why it had like control mode and pra practice mode or something. But you could set it so you could phase your TV and it turned the channel or turn the volume or whatever you wanted to do pretty interesting and i guess turning it sideways maybe turns the volume up and down it was a a, a neat piece i had said that i was going to list it for 350 in an auction i changed my mind i don't have too much luck with ebay auctions 
Um, I just decided, you know, looking at comps and stuff, I'm like, no, let me price this a little bit higher and just see what happens. So we priced it at 650 bucks and boom, we sold it. There was actually only nine views on this item before it sold, and uh, which was pretty quick. And if I remember correctly, I think it sold in like one or two days. So the phaser, I think we priced that a little bit lower. That still hasn't sold, but the, uh, not the, the, the uh, communicator has still not sold. Um, that wasn't as cool as the phaser. The phaser sold very quick, 650 bucks. My goodness. So this locker, those types of items were real surprises. There's more than that um, where we, you know, we didn't realize what a high value item we had. We're going to review that in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was planning on putting all this together as one uh, wrap up video, but actually we found more stuff in the locker, uh, our locker where we stashed the stuff than I first thought. There was uh, a bit more finds in there and some really good stuff. So we're going to do that in the next episode as well as review some of the bigger ticket items that sold, you know, big sales and share with you guys how much we've sold and how we pretty much did on this investment, this little flip of ours. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, the next video will be out soon. Till then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, now what's this? Because this looks fun. Blue Kitty two-pack lightsabers. Blue Kitty. Wow, these actually look kind of high-end. Oh, oh. 